what's up YouTubers, Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. This week we're doing Sultans of Swing by Dire Straits. So I'm going to show you the version i just shown you, which is the more conventional way. But also I'm going to show you a simplified way with open chords. Okay, let's zoom in and get straight into it. So let's start off with a nice easy version. Okay, so what I was doing originally was bar chords, D minor, C, B flat, and you can do an A or an A. I like to do an A7 there, okay? Um, so you, utilizing open chords, if you're not quite advanced enough to work these bar chords yet, you just play a D minor, normal C, B flat, which is like a fifth chord, a power chord. Did I say D flat? I meant B flat. And then A7, I think sounds really nice on the acoustic guitar. You could play an A major, no big deal. So that would be. So at the beginning, I'm doing like this kind of. So let me show you how to do that. So D minor. So it's like uh, down, up, down, really quickly. One, two, three. And with the D, I'm just aiming for these top strings. I'm trying to avoid the bottom two strings. If you hit the A, it's no big deal. You don't really want to hit that E though. That sounds pretty nasty, okay? So, so it's a quick down, up, down. And don't tense your arm when you're doing strumming. It's all very relaxed, okay? So, down, up, down, tap, up, down, up, tap, down, up, up. I'm doing an up, up there. So it doesn't matter if you do a down, up, or an up, up, really. So when I'm going to that B flat, okay, which is just first fret on the A string, my first finger, and third finger is at the third fret on the D string. You can put the pinky behind as well. Sometimes you see me playing like this and it's just because I'm using my third finger to cover the D and G string. There's a fly has gone in here. It's like crazy summer here, so. Um. So this down, up, down only happens at the beginning, really. So super slow. Down, up, down, tap, up, down, up, tap, up, up, tap, up, down, up, tap, up. Okay? Down, up, down, tap, up, down, up, tap, up, up, tap, up, up, tap, up, up, tap, up, down, up, tap, up, up, tap, up, down, up, tap. Let's do that again. Down, up, down, tap, up, down, up, tap, up, up, tap, up, up, tap, up, up, tap, up, down, up, tap, up, up, tap, up, down, up, tap. So together. Now, if you can't quite grasp this tapping business, all I'm doing, I'm not hitting the guitar hard, I'm just resting down on the strings. And it kind of makes, it's a little bit of the pick, and it's a tiny bit of, you know, the strings hitting the frets. So it's no big deal, okay? If you really struggle with it, you can just do this. Okay, so it's kind of breaking everything down slow just to get that feel. 
So I'm just using my palm there just to stop the strings ringing out. Okay, alternatively, no taps at all. So the second time round, down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so that's without the tapping. I'll do it one more time slow. So I can't tell you how important it is to listen along the track and just try and play the chords along and it'll be in the correct key. If your rhythm isn't too hot, just practice those chord changes. And it's gonna work just fine, okay? So what is it? Um, you get a shiver in the dark, it's raining in the park, but in the meantime, Okay, so then it goes into the, the, blend is, the band is blowing Dixie double four time. Okay, so you've got this F. So I was doing an F bar chord there, but this is the easy version. So we just want to do, it actually looks like an E, so it's an E shape, but you swap the fingers around. So instead of using the first, second and third, I'm using the second, third and fourth to play an E. I slide it up one and then use my first finger to cover the B and top E. And there's a, an F, a really nice F. Alternatively, you can just do it first finger on the second fret, sorry, on the first fret on the second string. Second finger, second fret on the third string and third finger, third fret on the third fret, fourth string. Okay, so first finger on the B string in the first fret, second finger on the G string on the second fret, third finger on the D string in the third fret. Hopefully that makes more sense. And what you should do is try and cover the top two strings, the B and E, with one finger. Okay, that's to get a proper F. But if you're new to it, I just kind of mute it out. So where my finger's touching the B string, it kind of just rests on that E. So you end up with, okay. And that's gonna be absolutely fine. So again, he does this kind of, so that's F and that's gonna be down, up, down. Down, up, down, tap, up, down, up, tap. So to put it in context, here we go, so it's the F. Just slow that down, okay? So uh, I'll go from a bit before again. <clears throat> Here we go. So the F. Sorry. B 
flat, sorry. D minor. So then it goes that. Okay, so that's B flat. And then I'm sliding it that same shape, which is B flat power chord, B, B flat five. And I'm sliding the whole shape two frets until it gets to C. Okay, so that's also C. Alternatively, so I do that little slide there and finish with an open C slowly. So I'm sliding one to three on the A string, then play a C. D minor, slide, C. Here we go. Two, three, and F. Or, you know, however you want to play it. C. B flat. D minor. So it's B flat. So it just happens once in the first verse, okay? So the second verse is exactly the same. D minor. B flat, A. D minor, C, B flat, A7 I'm doing. Okay, then F sharp, so just F. To C, B flat, to D minor. Then there's our little. And that happens twice. Now we got this. But we want easy version, right? It's a little bit fiddly, but it can be really cool, all right? So D minor. So what I'm doing there, the first finger on that D minor chord on the top E. It's just going to jump over and play the first fret on the B string, okay? And I'm doing a down up, so I'm going down, down, up, and just playing that C string. I'm playing the top two strings. Down, down, up, then B flat power chord. That's a downstroke, right? So now you know why we're doing the up. So down, down, up, down. Back to D minor. Down, down, up, down for a C. So the second time round, obviously. I'm doing the same thing, down, down, up, my first finger, and just hitting an upstroke on the top E and B. Then I'm going down on a C chord. So super slow. And then there's 
that kind of bit, right? Sorry. On the, the difficult way, So that's, you know, I'll show you that a bit later on. So you pretty much got all the sections there, okay? back. Okay. So the bar chord version, I'm going to go a bit faster here because uh, you should be more advanced if you're doing this bar stuff anyway. So bar chord is just going to be D minor. Okay, same rhythm as before. Or a C B flat, I'm playing the I'm playing the full B flat and then A7. It happens twice. Then F full bar. Okay, when I'm doing the C, it's quite hard on the acoustic because you've got to put a lot of pressure down. So when I'm playing the C, on the B uh, string, I'm just putting my pinky into the 6th fret and hitting the G and B. And then removing it to show the 5th the, the and the 5th. Uh, fret underneath, so five and six, then five and five, okay, on the G and B. And that is, I'm just doing a double stop, the tenth fret on the G and B, and then I'm doing, uh, what's that, that's eight and nine, so eight on the B string, nine on the G. Doing a little slide up there. Same thing again. So you can do that way as well, right? So it's going to be D minor, C. Flat. D minor, D minor, and C. So I'm doing this little quick version, okay? And what it is, I'm just doing the B minor here, sorry, D minor. I'm taking my second, third, and fourth fingers away. to reveal the B, G, and D string. I'm moving that whole position down. Just playing the B, G, and D. Going back up. D minor, D minor, remove, 
slide, back to D minor, remove, riff. That little riff is just the pentatonic. And I'm sliding with my third finger from the fifth to the seventh on the A string. First finger on the fifth on the D string. Then seventh on the D string. Then fifth on the G. And you can go seven, five on the way back down if you like. A little bit vibrato there. Okay. You got a shiver in the dark. Dun, 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 dun. Now the F. C. B flat. D minor. Okay, so it's the same as before. And then. So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. I super, super appreciate all the thumbs up you've been giving me and all the support, the lovely messages you send me. I really, really appreciate it, okay? If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want weekly updates, don't forget to hit the bell button as well. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram, you know, with ridiculous photographs of me and my dog. Give me a shout out and I'll see you again same time next week. Enjoy.